Okay, and now what we're going to do is add an image slider to our home page, and then we'll work through adding galleries and blog posts. So to add an image slider to the home page, we'll go to Slideshow and click on Add New. We'll title this as our home page image slider. We'll select, click choose file to select our images. Here we have a few images set for the home page that I'm going to use. Now please note that these images are 2000 pixels wide um, and we usually recommend to keep them at 2000 pixels simply because you will have the flexibility of using the images on multiple screen resolutions. So be sure to click on full size and then click on use this attachment. So we'll click on add to slideshow. Next image we want to use is another one from our album. Once again, click on upload. We do have some options here like adding subtitle, you can add, edit the color text, you can select your colors here, um, you can position the text right or left, but I'll just leave this as blank for now and if for example you want your users to click on a specific image and be redirected to another page, you can add um, the URL here but I just want to leave it blank for now and finally I'm going to select my last image okay so I have my slideshow it's pretty much ready now I'll need to go ahead and publish it in order to display the slideshow on the home page, I'll go to Pages, find my home page, and over here select my slideshow. So here I have home page image slider. I can do some additional modifications, for example, like showing the social links. So I want to show them, but I don't want to show the page title. And I'll click on update. So I'll go here, refresh my page. And here I have my image slider. Okay, next off, um, I can do some basic customizations to my homepage image slider. And I'll go to flow theme and click on content settings. Actually, I'll go to image sizes. And here I have the home page width it is set to 1170 pixels, which is the default size. Um, you can leave them at 1100. And for the height, I'll go with 500 pixels. And I'll update my settings. We can go back to the home page, refresh it. And you, here you see that my image is higher and I have some extra margin space here as well. So this is how I want my home page to look. And I'll go ahead and start adding uh, galleries. So I'll go to galleries. Click on add new. Insert my gallery title. Gallery 1. Click on Add Gallery Images. I'll go here to upload my files. Here's my portfolio folder, and I'll add these first two images. Once they've been uploaded, I'll click on Add to Gallery.
So you can see that the images have been uploaded here. I will set a featured image, which is my preview image. I'll upload a new image from my computer. Once the image is uploaded, I'll click on set featured image. I can add a category, which will be new gallery category. Whoops. There we go. Deselect this one. And I'll publish. So I can go back to my home page, click on galleries. And here I have the gallery I've just published. So what I'm going to do for the next few minutes is add additional galleries and I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Okay, so we're back on track now. I've added, as you see here, I've added 10 galleries. Um, so the way the system usually works is it publishes the latest gallery. So technically speaking, my first gallery would be somewhere around here. Um, this is gallery one. And then gallery 10 is my very last gallery. So as you see here, I have gallery two, four, three, six, eight, five, nine, ten, and one. So be sure whenever you publish your galleries, um, they're not by title like gallery one, two, or three, but just make sure you title them accordingly. You can change their order around by changing the gallery publish date, and the publish date is usually changed here. So if you want to set a specific order, you can do that easily. Next off, we'll go over to the blog. And we'll start adding our blog content. So we'll go to post. Click on add new. And this will be blog post one. I'll go here to get some dummy text. So here's my text. I want to then add content to my blog post. You can either click on upload files and select files from your computer. Or you can also add additional files from your media library. So let's just say I had these three files on my computer and I also want to add an image from my media library, which has been uploaded earlier. So I'll hold my command the button and I'll add it here. And then I'll click on insert into post. And here I have my images added, I have all four images. Next off, I have some basic galleries, uh, I'm sorry, blog post settings. Whether I want to show related blog posts or no, I'll click on no. Show post meta, I'll click on no. Social sharing, yes. I can select my category. And for my featured image or my preview image, I'll select this image here. And now I'm ready to publish my blog post. So I can go back to my blog page, refresh it. And here I have my blog post. If I click on the title, the full post will load up and expand. Okay, so here I have my categories, I have my archives, recent blog posts. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll show you how to add an additional, um, another type of blog post. So you click on add new, and this will be blog post with gallery images. So I'll add my text. I'll go here and click on Attach Images. And once again, I'll select a few images from my media library. I'll click on Add to Gallery. And 
and I'll go ahead and publish my blog post. So we'll go back here, refresh the page. And here we have the blog post with gallery images. Now what this means is I can just click through these images. If I want to expand the blog post, I'll click on the blog post title. And I can see the entire text. You can combine this type of blog post with a regular post by just going here and adding images to um, to the actual blog post content. So we'll click on insert into post, go ahead and update it, refresh this page, here we have the images and the image gallery. So it's just a combination of one blog post and the other. To create a video blog post, you also have the option by just adding the video um, embed code here. So this is it in terms of how to create gallery blog posts. Next off, what we're going to do is add some text to our resources page. And I do have some text here. It's just, um, just some dummy text. So we'll go to pages. Click on all pages. Find our resources page. Add this here. We can always add an image to our resource page by clicking on add media. And we'll click here to upload a file. Actually, I'll select a file, an existing file I've already uploaded, and it will be this file here from the image slider. I'll click on insert into page, and I'll go ahead and update it. So here's my image. Here's the text I've added. Once again, you can disable the discussions area. Now, don't forget to click on update and then refresh the page. And there we go. For my about page, I have my text here. I'll go to the about page. What I want to do here is add my image right next to my text. So I'll click on Add Media. I'll find my image. Click on Insert Into Page. Here I have the image. I can click on Additional Options and align it to the left-hand side of my text. I'll click on Update as well. Now I'll go back here, refresh. And here I have my, my image and the about text. And finally, my contact information. I'll go to pages, find my contact page. Now I've selected my template as contact form. Contact email. Contact email. Thank you, message for me. Thank you for your email. Map embed code, I can add that by just going to Google and I'll type in Atlanta, Georgia. Click here to get the link, copy it, and paste it here. 
I can add some additional information. I can change my layouts. But this will be it for me for now. And I'll click on update. Go here and refresh my page. So here I have my map and I have the contact fields. So at this point I'm pretty much um, ready to almost go live with my website. I've added all of my content uh, that I wanted to so far and um, this is pretty much it. It's nothing, nothing really too complicated, just a matter of getting a hold of a few things. So next off in the next video we're going to show you how to make some uh, advanced customizations and modifications to your site to make sure that it functions fully uh, the way you want it to be.